Good morning, and this is Malaysia News. The FAA and NSTB plan to investigate near disaster at New York JFK Airport. Two passengers almost collide, coming within a thousand feet of each other. And here's ABC Monaco Sarabi from New York. Tonight, cars in the cockpit as two planes nearly collide at New York JFK Airport, and air traffic controllers notice the two planes converging Friday around 8:45 p.m. According to the FAA, a Delta 737 headed to the Dominican Republic was getting ready to take off with 145 passengers and six crew. Members aboard the Delta flight traveling to west at 450 miles per hour and 225 miles from the convergence point. American Airlines flight 777 is traveling south at 600 miles per per hour and currently 300 miles from the convergence point. The plane missing each other by just 1,000 feet. The Delta flight forced to abruptly abort to take off, avoiding a potential deadly disaster. Luckily, there are no reported injuries in the passengers on both flights. Continue on the destination. Their destination, Delta Airlines, releasing a statement saying in part the safety of our customers and crew is always delta number one priority we apologize to our customers for their inconvenience and any delay of the travels omg how can this happen there must be connection between this incident with later rates i must figure out Depreciation of depreciation. What is depreciation? Depreciation is one of the two concepts apart from integration. It is also a method of finding the derivative or rate of change of a function. The rate of change of function is defined as dy over dx equal to fx equal to y. There are a few applications of depreciation that we had learned, which is related rates. Analysis of function 1 that have increased, decreased and concavity. Analysis of function 2 have relative extrema, first and second derivative test. Maximum and minimum problems and the rules theorem and mean value theorem. Application of differentiation can be related to various things in our daily life. For instance, to check the temperature variation and to determine the speed or distance covered such as miles per hour and kilometer per hour. Next, we go to related rates. What is related rates? Related rates is a problem that involves at least two changing quantities. The reason why is the related rate we will use because it helps us to determine how fast or how slow a certain quantity is changing using the rate of change of the second quantity. In other words, a related rates problem is a problem in which we know the rate of change of one quantity and we want to find the rate of change of the other quantity. Now I understand. I got the answer. So guys, I will explain about this case. It can be solved by using related bits, which are distance. It is because the 
if these two pigs use the same rates of distance and time, they will crash into each other. So, for my solution, the traffic controller needs 30 minutes to avoid this issue. Okay guys, so I take this information from the next one. So, the first thing is traveling to pigs at 550 miles per hour and currently at 2 to 5 miles from the cover this one. Second thing, is traveling to south at 600 miles per hour and currently at 200 miles from the common base point. So we need to find what rate is the distance between two planes changing. I put x as the variable for the first plane and y to the second plane. And I assume that a is the distance between these two planes changing. So we know that x equal to 2 to, two to 5, five, 2 to 5, and y equal to 300. We don't know what as for when t equal to negative 150, y over t equal to negative 600. This two is negative signs because uh, the plane is moving to the opposite end. The a over t, we don't know. So, first, we use theorem of the graphs, which is a squared equal to a squared and y squared, because we need to find a, right? So, the answer we do not is 375. Next, from the theorem of the rise, we must differentiate to get pa over dt. So, after differentiate, we got 2a times dt over dt equal to 2x times dx over dt plus 2y times dy over dt. So, we can, so we can cancel out the number 2 here and substitute all the information here. After that, we got the value for dt over dt which is negative 750 miles per hour. Yes, we must find how much time does the A traffic controller have to get one of the place to different. So we know that A equal to 375, A over D equal to 750. We don't take the negative sign because the negative sign, the negative sign is for the uh, is the sign for the uh, place of the opposite. So substitute 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 A here and we got B equal to 1 over 2 hour which is 30 minutes. investigation have been launched into the circumstances that lead to devastating train crash in the East Indian. State of audition rescue efforts have now ended after the country was real crash this century. 288 people are known to have died and more than a thousand were injured. It though around 2,000 passengers were on board. The two passenger trains involved in the crash. Joe Inwood has the latest, it is India's worst rail disaster in the case around 2,000 people were packed into the commuter when the trains collide. Hundreds are known to have died with many more injured. Those pulled from the wreckage were taken to a nearby hospital where they spoke of the horror of the... I think this case also have a very I think so. In conclusion, with the help of differentiation, we are able to find the rate of change of one quantity with respect to another. Differentiation are constantly used in everyday life to help measure how much something is changing. Knowing how to use derivative, when to use, and how to apply them in daily life can be a crucial part of any profession. So, learning early is always a good thing for us. In essence, our issue statement, which is a case involving two planes that almost collide, has some relationship to related rates by the rate of distance and rate of time. It was resolved in the first segment of this video. Therefore, link rates may occur in many facts of life and it is particularly significant for individuals who work in the aviation sector. <laughs>